And in the day's other news, Tropical Storm Olivia brought heavy rain to the Hawaiian Islands. It lost some punch as it neared Maui with winds at 45 miles an hour and then continued on a track southwest. The islands could get 10 inches of rain with a storm surge of up to three feet in places. Pope Francis will meet bishops from around the world next February to discuss sexual abuse by Catholic clergy. Today's announcement came ahead of a Vatican meeting tomorrow with U.S. church leaders. It also came as Francis is facing new criticism over the long-running abuse scandal. The refugee crisis in Syria is getting even worse. The United Nations reported today that the country's war has uprooted a record one million people this year. Several hundred thousand have fled to Idlib province in the northwest, and now they face an impending government offensive. But France warned today that Syria's president must back off. The hypothesis of war crimes cannot be ruled out. That's what France is saying. When you carry out indiscriminate bombing on civilian populations in hospitals, we know that Assad can only see a military solution. We only see a political one. We need to be active if the worst is to be avoided. The worst isn't for certain yet if everyone acts responsibly. The U.S. and Turkey also have troops in Syria. Both have warned the Syrian regime against an assault on Idlib. In eastern Afghanistan, the death toll from a suicide bombing climbed to 68 today. More than 100 others were wounded by Tuesday's blast in Nangarhar province. It was the latest in a string of recent suicide attacks. The Taliban has denied any involvement. Russia's President Vladimir Putin has rejected claims that two Russian men poisoned a former double agent in Britain. Last week, British authorities charged Alexander Petrov and Ruslan Boshirov and identified them as part of Russia's military intelligence. In Moscow today, Putin said the two are actually civilians, and he dismissed the British allegations. We have looked at who these people are. We know who they are now. We found them. I hope that they show up and speak for themselves. That would be better for everyone. There is nothing special or criminal here, I assure you. But in time, we will see. Britain accuses the two Russians of using a nerve agent in the attack, but there is virtually no chance that Moscow will ever extradite them to stand trial. The European Union's parliament issued an unprecedented rebuke to Hungary's far-right government today. Lawmakers accused Budapest of sub subverting democratic values by mistreating migrants and curbing press freedoms. The vote could lead to suspending Hungary's EU voting rights. Back in this country, President Trump signed an executive order that authorizes sanctions against foreigners who interfere in U.S. elections. The president would have the final say on imposing the toughest penalties. Several senators in both parties said the order does not go far enough. Median household income in the U.S. rose last year for a third straight year. That puts them where they were just before the recession. The Census Bureau reports a gain of 1.8% in 2017, topping $61,000. But for the poorest one-fifth of Americans, incomes increased just a half a percent. And women still earned 82 cents for every dollar that men make. CBS News has fired the executive producer of its long-running Sunday night news program, 60 Minutes. Jeff Fager had been under investigation for allegedly groping women and fostering an abusive workplace. CBS said the dismissal was not directly related to those allegations. Last Sunday, CBS chief executive Les Moonves was forced out after allegations of sexual misconduct. And on Wall Street, the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 27 points to close near 25,999. The Nasdaq fell 18, and the S&P 500 added one point. Still to come on the news hour, we follow hurricane hunters into the eye of the storm. How abortion politics are playing out in Missouri's closely watched Senate race. Why the FDA is cracking down on a so-called epidemic of teen vaping and much more.